This channel is supported by Truefire. Truefire is an online library of lessons from some of my favorite players. There's thousands of lessons on there. You can use the promo code JNC40 to get 40% off of any of their courses. So I can't remember if this is a request or not, to be honest with you. There's a fairly possible chance that it was. Um, Emerald Eyes, Eric Johnson. I've just been watching the live from Austin version because this is the only live version I can find. And I found instantly a bunch of things which jumped out to me as worth breaking down. So first of all, I'm going to break down like the little intro part and then just a couple of little bits from the tune. Um, if you want a more in-depth breakdown on this, uh, leave a comment make sure that it doesn't fully die on YouTube and I'll be happy to dig into it a bit more. These are just some bits that jumped out to me and there's this little bit which has taken me a while to figure out. So I just want to show you these few little tips to start with. We're in B major. Um, I'm using the Eric Clean preset on my HX Stomp. If you want that, use the Gumroad link. I'm just going to turn down the mix of the delay and reverb a bit. So we start with this, kind of just a bend up from the 6th fret to the 8th fret. And then we play the note that we're actually bending up to here on the 4th fret. From here. Then we come up to here. So we've then got a G sharp minor. So this is kind of our chord 6 on the 11th fret. here so 11 11 12 which is sort of like a G sharp minor 7 and then he plays harmonic at the 12th fret or is it natural harmonic and then this kind of thing which he does quite a bit from the 6th to the 8th fret and the 7th to the 9th fret so either this dog is being very needy. Let's put uh, down here into bed. So we go from the six, seven, eight, nine, and back down. And then we have the fourth and second here for a fifth, down to the second and open. And then we have this really interesting thing, which has taken me ages to figure out. For this, we're going to be doing um, a, a mixture of things. We're going to be doing some harped harmonics. Um, but here's the basic shape that you need to get under your hand. Uh, we've got the sixth fret here. And we're barring here. Then we've got the ninth fret with the B. And then we've got the sixth fret with the G. And then we've got the ninth fret with the B string this really cool chord mm -hmm. 
And I think in this context, it's happening over a G sharp minor. So you could think about it as a G sharp minor kind of voicing. But yeah, we're going to go like this. Um, first of all, you're going to pick and touch with your pointer finger here, 12 frets above the sixth fret. And then we're going to play these two open and then another harped harmonic there. And then another one here, just above here. So you're going following the shape. And then we're going to hammer on or kind of touch on here or here, wherever you want to do it. like that. So then we have like a, a C sharp minor here and you can kind of play a C sharp at the fourth fret on the A string, second fret on the B string and fourth fret on the E string and then go down to your thumb on the F sharp and then fourth fret on the G, second fret on the B, and second fret on the E for like an e, F sharp sus. So you get, that's the, the, the first thing that kind of jumped out at me. And then this tricky part. And then he does some lead playing. Other things that jumped out at me, there's this really cool chord here, which I love the sound of. And I've actually done a lesson on this. This is kind of like a nine chord. It could be major or minor. Because it doesn't have a third in it. And I think he does this, quite a little cool. voice leading thing so you go from the 7th fret, ninth fret, 7th fret, then the 7th fret, 6th fret, 4th fret and then 4th fret, 6th fret, 7th fret, 6th and then 2 or it's got really nice Okay, and then one other really cool thing that he plays that I don't know if I can do with a sausage in the way is this. Kind of plays this in the verse. Um, occasionally, and I need to go back and look at this song closer because I think there's a load of cool stuff in it, but kind of have the ninth fret and F sharp. And then you have the 11th fret here and the 11th fret on the G string and the B 12th fret and let the E ring out below. Got a really cool sound. Uh, if I could get there quickly. So that's a few things that I've already got to work on. So there was this voicing that is beautiful by itself and then if you Do this kind of thing. Kind of a triplet feel. Just some things which immediately jumped out to me that are beautiful about Emerald Eyes, Eric Johnson. So if you wanna grab the tab for those little bits, I'm gonna do more in-depth stuff on this particular tune, I think. Um, leave a comment below if you want that, but this was just something that I immediately just had to learn. Um, in particular, that harp to harmonic thing, I think is a really cool thing that I'm gonna try and use loads more. I'll catch you in another video soon. Patreon for the intro, backing track and also the um, tabs for what I've gone through here so far today. 
but I'll do, I think, a bit more in-depth stuff when I've got a bit more time to dig into this tune, if that's something that you're looking for. Um, but yeah, take those chords from that and put them into other keys would be my kind of advice for this stuff, because if you can make them part of your own vocabulary, I think it's way more useful than just having them in the context of Emerald Eye. So I would move, for instance, that G-sharp minor voicing is starting from the fifth, right? So you could move that around uh, and have some fun with that, I think. Catch you in another video soon. Feel free to like and subscribe. And if you want those tones, use the Gumroad link. Cheers.